Growing up, I was a painfully shy little girl. I was almost borderline mute, but all of that changed when I started dressing up as a man. Loves to have fun. A fun loving gal love uh, with a fun I did it like to me. gain the acceptance of my peers and to get them to laugh with me rather than at me. But as time went on, it became a big part of my personality. Before this year is over, I want to get out of my comfort zone and perform at a drag bar. Even though I grew up knowing what drag queens were, up until now I never thought drag was a possibility for me because, let's face it, I'm not a man in a wig. Because I'm uneducated and frankly too lazy to read, I met with local drag king Alexander Brandy for a history lesson. So what ended up happening in the early 2000s, especially with RuPaul's Drag Race, which is really interesting, is RuPaul's Drag Race brought drag culture to the mainstream. And so, um, and so with that, you had to put drag in almost a little box because in order to be part of the mainstream, you have to separate different things. And so it was a certain type of drag queen that was on that show. It is just a man in a wig on that yeah. show. Um, and so that took out all of the drag kings. And what's so weird about all of this is that RuPaul's Drag Race just happened to pick up around the same time as the internet did. And so you can go and you can look at all of these books in the 90s, early 2000s, and before, there's so much stuff written on male impersonation, but none of it exists on the internet because it wasn't popular to write about and no one cared about it. And so now that drag queens are popular, everyone is writing about the history of drag queens and everyone is talking yeah. about all of like how to do your makeup and everything but the the drag kings were just sort of like completely erased from that history alex taught me a lot about the historical importance of male impersonation with this info in mind i went to meet with tash riot hey, 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 it's good hey, to hey see you. a local afab queen to help me create a persona Kind of getting an idea of what I want to do. Yeah, obviously, like one, you love drag, which is the important thing, and yeah. two, like you, you want to do it, and you like are good. You know, you have talent. So Thank I just you. think it's, I think it's just like believing that, and like making a decision within yourself to just like trust yourself because you've literally like you got it, and the <laughs> point you. is that like it's fun. So yeah. just have fun and fuck okay. it. Like, fuck it up. Okay. Like, don't, like, any pressure that you're putting on yourself, just, like, brush it off and, like, just enjoy it. I'm learning that it's um, a little too easy to transform myself. I don't know what that says about me as a, as a woman. <laughs> it is what it is. Talking to seasoned performers made me really nervous because even though I've done a lot of drag, it had nothing to do with the gay scene or even being gay at all. Like it was literally just to be funny. And I like weirdly always did drag to be accepted, <laughs> to not get made fun of. I don't know what that is because it's usually the other way around. I feel like because I'm doing it in the context of like, hey, I'm gay and I'm doing drag, it adds a lot of stakes rather than seemingly cis, straight passing woman just doing it for jokes. Like people aren't that against it. But I think because it kind of does have something to do with my identity and uh, even though I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm not someone that completely labels myself, the fact that it's not for like the entertainment of straight people, I feel like I would get a lot more backlash, like publicly. I think right now what I'm doing is a lot more vulnerable than when I was going out into the street at 12 because when you're a kid like it's not really a problem at all like or maybe people might like give you a side eye or talk shit about you but I think like now I'm making a political statement going outside which is fucking crazy because I look like a shitty k-pop star <laughs> like i don't like that that's what this is doing but like that those are the implications and it's really fucking scary because i really try to steer clear and like stay safe for the most part <laughs> Hey 
can you open up the door? Yeah. Thanks. Or dislike about drag? I think they're a very great person. Uh, because society was never too kind to them. And uh, they look awesome in drag. What do you think about androgynous performers or drag kings? Or have you ever heard of that? <laughs> I'm going to take the answer as a no. No. Okay. <laughs> drag king? This is me telling you that um, in two weeks' time, I'm going to go and perform in drag at a club. But you're not androgynous. <laughs> I'm going as a drag king. Okay. <laughs> That's it? Okay. Well, I'd love to watch you do it. We are Macedonian, um, and I mean, we're kind of mixed up. Like, you're Croatian, we have some Serbian family members. What is your... The understanding of gay people in those countries. <laughs> in Serbia, there was an incident a couple of years ago with the Pride Parade where these uh, hooligans came and started beating up the, the gay people, which is was not a good picture for Serbians in general. Mm -hmm. Because nobody came out to defend them. And in Macedonia, there's no gay parade. That's... What about this neighborhood? Yeah, in this area, do you think? This neighborhood? I don't know. Remember how this Albanian boy, when you were walking hand in hand with Stefani, you were very young? I remember all you lesbians. <laughs> I remember that. And you didn't even know the meaning of the word. I honestly, I remember that. And I remember Stephanie, like, forced me to tell you. But I didn't want to. Like, I was just like, okay. It is what it is. Whatever. Whatever. You know what? Uh, I really didn't think uh, my mom would hate crying me. So... <laughs> That's why I chose to interview her uh, alone. Um, my dad, uh, he's at work right now. I mean, he, he's, he's in the picture. He's very present. Okay, if I'm going to be completely honest, like my dad is pretty accepting. I just wasn't ready to completely come and, you know, shock him in full drag because I don't think he would be ready for that. The experience I had coming out to him was it took him some time to actually come around to things. I know film-wise it would have been really interesting to get my dad's negative reaction, but I also live at home and I'm afraid that maybe he wouldn't come around to it. A lot of people I grew up with, if they like had a debate with their family about gay rights or like any LGBT issues, they could possibly get kicked out of the house by even like just bringing it up. If you do have the luxury and especially if you are in a place of privilege, like it's important to speak out for people who are not at that place yet. But I think like also be realistic and think like, well, is me uh, defending myself or like defending my rights gonna cost me food or a place to live like I don't know once I got that heart to heart with my mom over with it was time to start focusing on the show so I called up C they're a dancer choreographer and a very close friend of mine Hi, I'm Z I'm a choreographer dancer person here yeah it's gonna be good can't wait let's hit it <laughs> That's it. 
<laughs> what do you want to bring to this or like work on for this? I want to bring eleganza. I want to bring talent. Yes. I want to bring skill and sex. Cool. I think I can handle that. Okay, hot. Oh, cool. let's get into it. <laughs> the show was absolutely insane. I went in thinking it was an open stage, but last minute I find out it's an audition. The stage was set, it was drag battle at the drink. Coming in, my heart was racing. And of course, the host of the show calls my name an hour early. that I forced myself to do this because there were a lot of times I doubted it and really wanted to give up even throughout this whole process. So what'd you just do? I just fucking did it on him. <laughs> That's what I did. I did it on him. That was so insane. Very cold guard. And uh, the queen's ate it up. Hopefully I'll get asked to do that shit again. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what else to say.